Hello folks, this is 2024 May June paper 21 and the question number is uh, 2. It is concerned with the uh, chapter kinematics. Actually, it is uh, 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 it belongs to projectile. It says define velocity. So it is the rate of change of displacement. Okay, let us quote the main problem. It says a student throws a ball over a vertical wall of height h, height h. As shown in figure 2.1, so it throws like this. Uh, this is the height h, just gets over it. The ball lifts the hand of the student at a height of 1.2 meter from the ground. So when he the ball leaves the body, it is at a height of 1.2 meter from the ground. The ball has an initial velocity of 22 meter per second. So this is u equal to 22 meter per second, u equal to, u equal to at an angle of 40 degree with the horizontal. So it's equal to, equal to theta. Uh, the wall is a horizontal distance of uh, 36 meters from where the student leaves the ball. So this, uh, let us say, x is equal to 36 meters. Determine the time taken for the ball to reach the wall. So we need to find the time taken here. Now, here we have got the horizontal displacement here. And we can also have the horizontal velocity here from this end of this theta. So the time should be equal to our uh, time should be equal to horizontal displacement by horizontal velocity. So if we, if we take vertical displacement, it will be vertical displacement by vertical velocity. So here we take only horizontal. So like this, equal to x, us is equal to u cos of theta. So that's equal to x is a 36, u is a 22 into cos, cos of 40 degrees, 40 degrees. So this will be uh, equal to, so the time would be equal to 36 divided 22 into cos 40 equal to, so this is 2.136 something something something, 2.136 and so on. So if I write in uh, 3SF, it will be equal to 2.14 seconds. So this is the time taken, 2.14 seconds. Now, in the next page, we have calculate the vertical component U of the initial velocity of the ball. So we have to calculate the vertical component. So it will be given by u vertical will be equal to u for equal to u sine theta that's equal to u is a 22 22 into sine of angle is 40 degree so it should be equal to 22 into 40 22 into sine 40 actually sine 40 so this is equal to 14.14 so 14.14 and so on i can read it as 14.1 meter per second so 14.1 meter per second the ball just goes over the wall. Calculate the height yet of the wall. So we have to calculate this yet. So now what we should do is, we, ha we are given this 1.2. So first we find, first we find the vertical displacement of this body, this body at that moment. It is this thing. We will find, first to find this thing. This is the vertical displacement of the body in the projectile motion in this time t, which is given as we have here 2.14 seconds. So the formula for that is, that is, S vertical equal to U vertical into time plus 1 by 2 A vertical T squared. T squared. So this will be equal to U vertical is, we just got here, it is a 14.14 into Time is, it was 2.14, 2.14 plus 1 by 2. This AV is equal to minus G because the vertical velocity decreases. AV equal to minus G, that's equal to minus 9.81, minus 9.81. And this T square is 2.14 squared. So this is the formula for the this vertical displacement. Equal to, equal to, it will give us. So into 2.14 equal to plus 0.5 into 9.81 into 2.14 squared. Very close. Actually, it should have been minus here. Uh, minus equal to. Uh, minus equal to. Uh, 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 
excuse me, excuse me, it is. So this comes to be 7.8. So it's 7.7 and some, some, something. So it's equal to 7.7995 equal to 7.8 meters, 8 meters. So this height is, so this height, the height here is, the height here is, 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 is like this. This, this is 7.8 meters. So now this H should be equal to 7.8 plus 1.2. It should be equal to 7 by 8 1 by 2. So it should be equal to, therefore, 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 h is equal to SV plus uh, uh, 1.2 equal to 7.8 plus 1.2 equal to 9.0 meters. So this is the answer for this question. The wall is 9.0 meter high.